good guys Malvern and Kid are back again coming more coming back with some more news from Marvel and we have a new cast member to the upcoming the fourth Captain America movie Captain America New World Order Damn, sorry <laughs> sorry uh, we have a new cast member and I'm really interested about this cast member because I'm not too familiar with her. So as being someone who wants to get familiar with her, I did my research. And I, the actress who I'm talking about is Zosha Rockmore. Now, first of all, I love the name. That is a very unique name to have. Uh, I had to make sure I wanted, I hope I'm pronouncing it right, Zosha Rockmore. Um, very tall system. Amazon. Don't you love them? I do. Amazon. Uh, two years younger than me. And she's been on shows like The Mindy Project. Uh, she's been on, she was in Precious. Uh, she was, she's currently on a show uh, with Henry Simmons called uh, Cherish the Day, I believe. That's the name of the show. It's on the Oprah uh, the Oprah Network, I believe. Uh, but with that being said, she is joining Anthony Mackie's Captain America movie. And with that being said, according to Deadline, she's in a key role. A key role. Okay. Key word, key role. And she's already kind of gone on record to say this is probably the biggest in her career, of course. And I've looked at a couple of interviews with her. She's very smart and very good looking and very funny. And every time I've seen her, she's rocking her natural hair. And when I'm looking at her, there's one character that came to mind. And I'm going to talk about that character. But first, there are two characters that I may believe she could be playing. As Marvel, they keep it under wraps. It's a key role. And I've heard people talk, friends say who she could be playing. I'm not too agreeable on it. The one that they keep saying is she could be playing uh, uh, a relation to Eli. Uh, Eli's mom, Isaiah Bradley, uh, you know, Eli Bradley's uh, mom. I don't agree with that one, sorry. Because we know Isaiah is going to be back in this movie, but I just don't agree with that. There are two other characters, though. I have strong feelings she's playing. So let's get the one out of the way that may make it, because even though this character was supposed to have already debuted, in the MCU, but it didn't because she debuted in a Netflix, in Netflix Luke Cage series. So that character you probably already know is Nightshade, or aka the Queen of the Werewolves. Yeah. Nightshade was a villain that first debuted in Captain America Falcon, I believe number 173, I could be wrong with the numbering. But she was she was a villain. She's a villainess. She's a, and she was she's also known as the queen of the werewolves. She's tall. They also call her Doctor Nightshade as well. She now you can find her now as a reformed villain in the Captain America comic led by Sam Wilson, Captain America: Symbol of Truth. That's where you can find her now. But with that being said, that was an interesting take because somebody actually, a good friend of mine, Mr. Multi, he actually said that, posted that on my, on one of my, on Facebook, and he said she's either playing Nightshade, and I'm like, hmm, okay. Now, the problem is, like I said, Nightshade. Here's the thing: Nightshade was supposed to debut in the MCU in the first Black Panther. Movie. Um, they had an actress, I'm forgetting the actress's name, she was going to play it, but then, but it got word out that 
she was already going to be used in the Luke Kick season two of Luke Cage, and in that she's Mar Black Mariah's daughter, I believe. So, but they're not related. But yeah, Nightshade is one of the characters, and I can see it. But the real character who I feel she is playing is this character, Misty Knight. Yes. I feel that we are going to get the first recast of one of the Netflix Marvel heroes. Misty Knight. Now, yes, would I would I want Miss Simone Messick to return as Misty? Yeah, I would love it. But it seems like it may not be it may not happen. We may not see all the Netflix actors return as their previous character they played in the MCU. They could be recasted. Hopefully it's a mixture in my opinion. But with that, yes, I do feel she is going to play Misty. And another reason why I say Misty Knight, or full name, Mercedes Knight, simple. As of late and for a while now, in the source materials, who have, the couple, Sam and Misty have been a couple. It's no longer Misty and Danny Rand, Iron Fist. They, they, their relationship has been over a long time. There's still love between them, but Misty has been with Sam for a long time. And I feel like that's where they may be going with this. I said, I've said that they could go this. We could see some of the Netflix characters, especially some of the black characters be introduced in the Anthony Mack led Captain America. Because think about it. Think about it. Who's writing this movie? The same people that wrote the great Falcon and Winter Soldier series, which was one of my favorites. So we could see her. Could she be the cop? Could she already be, already have started? Night restoration as a private eye? Who knows, you know? She already have the bionic arm? Who knows? But I see Miss Rockmore as Misty. Once again, like I said, I've seen it. I was looking at a few bit of interviews with her. She had a natural hair out in an afro. And I'm looking at this beauty and I'm saying to myself, yeah, I, I'm seeing Misty Knight. I'm not seeing Nightshade, even though Nightshade had an afro too, has an afro too, but I'm seeing Misty Knight. And then I had to remember, because Miss Rockmore is a beautiful chocolate Amazon. I'm thinking to myself, wait, I had to think. I said to myself, my back, I'm like, how tall is Misty? So once again, can't remember off the top of my head. Sometimes even your alpha has to research. And went, I went directly to marvel.com and looked, typed in Misty Knight when they had all the attributes and how much she weigh, how much, what colors her hair, her eyes, all that stuff. When I looked at the height, the height replied with 5'9". 5'9", 135 pounds. So I'm like, hmm, okay. And the more I'm looking at her in interviews, because she did a couple of interviews, the more I'm like, she put on a little, little workout, put on a little muscle, and I can see you as Misty Knight. Plain and simple. I love Misty. I've always loved Misty Knight. Misty Knight is, of course, is a, a mixture of Pam Greer and Foxy Brown and all of them, all the characters you think that Pam Greer played. That's what Misty Knight is. Cop, former cop, lost her arm in an explosion, terrorist explosion, and got, got a prosthetic arm that was given to her thanks to Tony Stark. Unfortunately, in the MCU right now, Tony's gone. And I don't know what's going on with the company, but there are other people who can make 
bionic prosthetic arms. Just saying. But I have a feeling Miss Zosha Rockmore is playing Misty Knight. I think they really want to bring her in as a character in a key role. Key role. Why? To be not only the partner, but also the love interest for Sam. I think we're going that route. That's just me. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I got no problem being wrong, my pack. But the fact of the matter is, I see Misty Knight. I can see her playing a different version of Nightshade, or Dr. Nightshade, but I see Misty Knight. So congratulations to Miss Rockmore for being casted in the movie. I'm looking forward to seeing what they do and maybe we'll, when they will announce who she is. But a geek can, can imagine. A geek can speculate. Like we all do. Ain't that right? I'm sure it is for everybody. But in the meantime, guys, you guys tell me what, this, what do you think about this casting? What do you think? Who do you think she is playing? I want to hear it. But in the meantime, you guys take care, and I will see you guys next time. Deuces.